Netflix delivers one of their best TV shows of the year so far in the form of Eric starring Benedict Cumberpatch. It's a limited series. It only has six episodes and let's talk about it. Now, Eric is a psychological drama. It's set in the 1980s and it focuses on Vincent. Now, Vincent is a professional puppeteer who's doing a Sesame Street-like show. He also has a nine-year-old son named Edgar. Now, things are a bit rocky on the show because they need to adapt with times and other shows are doing different things and they're focusing on different styles. Now, there's a lot of back and forth as to the direction in which the show should go. And you can definitely tell that Vincent is very flawed. He has a lot of issues. Like, you can tell that substance abuse is an issue. And with that being said, it damages a lot of his relationships, especially with his co-workers. You can tell that he has a very rocky relationship with his wife at home. So the marriage is on the rocks. And you can figure that out pretty early on in the show. And also, it does put a little bit of strain on his relationship with Edgar as well. Now, things really begin to spiral and get out of hand when Edgar goes missing. This is where Cumberbatch just, he just knocks it out the park, guys. So the, the story is pretty grim. It's pretty dark. So don't be fooled by the Sesame Street puppeteer aesthetic. It's definitely dark there's a lot of psychological drama as i explained before it is a psychological thriller so don't be going in thinking it might be on the light-hearted side of things it is dark there's a lot of subject matter here that's grim so be warned with all that being said now vincent is convinced that his son has been working on a project of creating his own puppet named eric he is convinced that through him believing in Eric's existence, that that will be a way of him finding his son. And it's very fascinating to watch this whole thing unravel, guys. And the acting, while Benedict is one of those brilliant actors, he can be in anything and it will make it work. He is a brilliant performer. He understands acting in a way which you do very rarely see nowadays he is almost unrecognizable as vincent in this particular role and i watched a featurette where the creators actually said that they want to put benedict in a role where like he's totally immersed in the role way to the point where it's completely unrecognizable and i feel like they achieved that in this show and he definitely he's going to be up for awards for this performance he makes it seem effortless and Vincent is a very disturbed individual. He has a lot going on, the substance abuse. He's very snappy. He has a lot of mood swings. And Benedict just eats up that whole aspect of his performance. I'm not going to lie, guys. And it's brilliant to see him work and do what he does best. Gabby Hoffman also delivers a brilliant and heartfelt performance as Vincent's wife. And wow, such a brilliant actress. And to see her work opposite Vincent is just incredible. And that's the power of this show. It's in its performances, guys. I'm not going to lie. It could have been just your average limited series, but the performance just elevate the material completely. And another standout performance, guys, comes from McKinley Belcher III. Whew. He just, he's absolutely engaging to watch in his performance, guys. And... I, like every instance he shows up on the screen he just commands the screen with such presence and the acting is the standout here for me guys that's the one thing that will get you hooked immediately into the show i'm 100 percent sure about that the story itself is written in such a way that's well layered and it works well as a limited series but the performances Sometimes your show is only as good as the performances that you get because if the material is subpar, the actors will definitely take it up a notch. And that's what happens in Eric. The show works very well as a limited series. I kind of feel like if this was stretched out over 10 episodes, 
it wouldn't have worked as well. I absolutely love the look of the show, the cinematography capturing that 1980s vibe. The color palette is amazing. Just the whole aesthetic of the 80s works well. Now, remember, this was a dark period also where you had a lot of things going on and a lot of dark subject matter. The show finds the perfect balance between that, you know, incorporating the psychological thriller. You have the trauma aspect. You have the crime missing child aspect as well. So it balances a lot of things very well. And it's one of the stronger TV shows that Netflix has released this year so far. All in all, guys, I'm not going to lie. This is a pretty solid psychological thriller from Netflix. And it's not something you can say very often. The show definitely surprised me. I mean, releasing on a Thursday and it's this good. It's definitely worth a watch. Don't be fooled by the puppet aspect. It's very dark and grim, but it's definitely worth watching. It's a, You can easily breeze through this thing. Six episodes is not too much, and it's definitely a show that I can recommend, guys. It's called Eric, and sometimes the monsters are not the ones under the bed. That in itself says a lot, guys. Give this one a watch, and when it comes to rating... I'll definitely give this a 3 out of 5. A solid 3 out of 5. It's that good. It's worth a watch. I can easily recommend it, guys. Eric, it's out right now on Netflix. Give it a watch. You won't be disappointed. Brilliant performance by Combo Patch. Interesting story. Interesting how the whole thing plays out. And I really enjoyed it, guys. So please let me know what you guys think about Eric down below in the comment section. Does it look interesting? Have you heard about it? Give it a watch, guys. It's, it's definitely worth a watch. That's it for me, guys. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, guys. I will definitely catch you on the next video. And once again, thank you for watching.